All right, yes, right now, Washington County Sheriff Joel Cochran and the county emergency management crew are assessing damage out there and helping to clear some of the roads. So Sheriff Cochran is actually on the line with us. Thank you for chatting with us, Sheriff. Hey, good morning. Thank you. Uh, can you talk to us about what you saw this morning and what you guys have been seeing as you go throughout the later parts of the morning? Well, what, what we're seeing is it looks like a, uh, some straight line winds or either a, a tornado touched down here sometime between 8.30 and 12 o'clock. Uh, excuse me, 8.30 and 9 o'clock this morning. Uh, some significant damage to, uh, I, I'm going to say, estimating a you know, mile, mile and a half stretch of, of terror or starting up around the foul line technical school and come across uh, over to a, to a community or a neighborhood in the Sanders uh, called Walden Woods. Uh, EMA is personnel are out assessing, you know, damages as we're talking. Uh, preliminary numbers right now looks like there's a uh, EMA director saying that there's two structures that are destroyed and it looks like these four structures that they've found so far to, to have major structural damages. Uh, we've had reports of two, um, I'm sorry, three injuries this morning from the storms. Uh, we do not believe any of those injuries to be life threatening. Well, hopefully those people are able to be okay, make a recovery. And can you talk about what kind of damage you're seeing? I know you sent in some pictures to us that we were just showing on air a second ago. Well, what we've seen is a lot of power line damages, lots of Power lines are, are down. Uh, many trees are down uh, where the path of the storm went. Uh, you know, other than that, it's just, you know, the roads are, we're gradually getting those back open and trying to get those safe to travel. However, you know, lines are still down. We can, you know, so, you know, anytime there's lines on the ground, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a major danger for people. So we're asking people to uh, try to avoid these areas and, until we can make sure that everything is safe for them. And we did get some video of damage to the Duraline plant. Can you talk about uh, some of the damage you were seeing there? They, the Duraline plant uh, did receive some significant uh, damages to it. A uh, part of the roof uh, came off during the storm. Uh, it was reported that a couple of uh, employees uh, received some, some injuries from the, uh, when the storm hit that was inside the plant working. Uh, that that there was multiple cars in the parking lot that received damage from the, from the storm as, as well. So they, that that was a, that's a major damage structure that, that we'll be dealing with here. I know you mentioned there were a couple injuries some at the, at the Doorline plant. Any others uh, that happened throughout the morning? Well, when the storm hit there uh, in the area of that plant, the, the street right uh, adjacent to the plant, there was a, a an eighteen wheeler on the street that. The uh, storm caused it to uh, overturn, and the driver of that truck was, was taken to the emergency room where he's being treated. Well, thank you so much, Sheriff Cochran. We appreciate you chatting with us. and appreciate all the work you guys are doing out there to, to clear everything up. We wish you guys a uh, safe rest of your day. Thank you so much. All right, now we're going to take a look at some videos sent in by our Suzanne Lawler. Some damage around there. You see people out there trying to clear up some of these trees that had fallen down on rows that you just heard Sheriff Cochran talking about uh, some of the damage in the area that those trees have caused. So Suzanne Lawler and Megan Western are both in Washington County covering this story right now. We will have more online and at 13WMAZ.com and tonight at 5 and 6.